Welcome to another random video, my experience at Aftershock 2022. And if you see this sign, you know you're in for a good time. Aftershock is a festival in Sacramento, California. It's been around for 10 years as of 2022. It started off as a one day festival and now is up to four days. This is my third time overall. Aftershock is back now in 2022, two years since the pandemic. Last year in 2021 was the first year back for Aftershock since the pandemic kind of closed it down. It was good, it was a fun time, but you kind of tell that the pandemic had an effect on it. This year felt like Aftershock was back at full strength. This video will just be an overview of my experience this year and other videos will follow. Now it's not a festival if you don't have to wait in line and get hurled around like cattle. Especially when the lines started to actually move, it's when you really felt like a cow. And even some of the people started moving as a joke. But it's always exciting to get to the front gates, because then you know the fun's about to begin. Being that Aftershock is in October, with Halloween in the same month, and it's a lot of metal and dark bands, you see some pretty cool and macabre artwork there. Now if you're into stoner rock, you might find yourself here at the Loud Lounge. It's a chill area with cannabis-based companies. One of the companies have this really interesting entrance with these lighted loops, which look a lot cooler in the nighttime, as you can see here. Heavy Grass is a cannabis company that has involvement from one of the members of Slipknot. It's the percussionist with the clown mask. I've heard good things, but I don't personally know much about the company. Kush Kills is a clothing and lifestyle brand and other than the name, doesn't really have much to do with cannabis products. Zen Gardens is a cannabis company that you do normally think of though. They had this Connect Four game that people could play. They also had this booth where it shoots around money or prizes and you kind of grab it like in a game show. If cannabis isn't really your thing, there are plenty of other booths and exhibits to check out. If causes are your thing, they have uh, this Rock Against Racism section and they have what they call paintbrushes with punk rock sort of an art exhibit kind of thing. At a lot of these uh, festivals, they have the Marines and the Army and other military branches there. You know, try to do a little recruiting, but they're also just there to give information. You know, it could be a good path for some people. And if none of that is of your interest, then they have performers like this young lady who for a little bit of money will pour drinks straight down your throat. Being a hard rock type festival, many pits were moshed those four days. In future videos, I'll have little samples of the various bands I listen to. Not complete performances, obviously, but just to give you a taste of the bands that I saw across the four days. I'm also going to give you some videos on just the art at the festival. All kinds of people like this type of music. Uh, cops on Horses like this kind of music. Kenny from South Park likes this kind of music, obviously. But I do think he got killed in a mosh pit later on. Even Michael Myers likes this music. But I'm going to leave you for now until the next random aftershock video. I gotta go before Michael gets stabby.